Hey YouTube family and GN subs, what's happening? What's happening is good stuff. The Biden administration is coming through folks. They just passed some interesting policy action uh, items that I'm gonna share with you today. And this is really good stuff. This is great stuff. Uh, I think I predicted that it was coming. Here it is folks, January 21st, a new executive action by Biden administration with regard to immigration and how to get green cards. It expands a category in the EB2 category um, to get a green card. It's fantastic. Hey. So those of you who are new to the channel, I am Umberto Gray. Uh, I bring you good news. That's good policy stuff, just like what I'm doing today. I take complicated subject matters, I break it down, make it very simple um, for you to understand. Uh, and then I talk about real cases in my office that I'm working on so you can get a feel of exactly what immigration is actually doing real time, right? Not what they're saying on the website, but you know, how long is it taking to get your citizenship interview? All right, so new executive action, January 21st, 2022, just became effective. I'm gonna list in the description box below the link. I want you to go right to the, the White House statement and you can read it, check it out, it's really cool. And I'm gonna digest it for you to make it easy to understand. All right, one thing that it does that is really, really important is the EB2 employment-based category for the National Interest Waiver. This is big stuff, folks, all right? So uh, generally, in the EB2 employment-based category, you can apply for a green card without a labor certification, without a job offer, right? If you have an advanced degree and your job is in the national interest, you can actually get a green card. You can file an I-140 in a couple months, get the approval, file the adjustment, all right? So let's talk a little bit about what is a national interest waiver. If you have a master's degree or higher, or you can have a bachelor's degree plus five years experience uh, in the area of science, art, or business, you're good to go, right? You have to show what you're gonna do has merit and national importance, okay? It's really, really difficult to get one of these approved because it's so subjective, right? Science was a field that was not broad. They construed it very narrowly. So here's the deal. They've opened it up to STEM. Those jobs in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, it opened up the field. This is really good stuff, folks. So if you have experience and you're wanting to work in an area you know, of STEM and you can show that it's in our national interest, I mean, now these days, for example, with social media, right? It's getting huge. Now in technology, you can qualify, right? I, had a, I have a lot of influencers that never ever qualified for the higher EB1 standard. It was very difficult. They were just there. I think here, Definitely, we can we can make some way now, right? The Biden administration policy is also to make a broader view when you're adjudicating these cases. So this is fantastic, folks. This is big. This is big. I told you it would come. It's here. It's huge. All right, so what they've done as well is for OPT practical training, they've expanded the field of STEM, not only science, technology, engineering, and math, 22 more occupations. And not only that, not only 22 more occupations, but it's for three years now. Usually you can only get the, the optional practical training for one year. Now it's expanded to three years. I'm gonna list in the description box below the Federal Register which lists all of the new occupations. These are awesome now. Hey, here's a few that I find that are really important that's gonna really be helpful. Financial and business analytics. Uh, also, green jobs. Green jobs are included. Look at this list. Forestry, earth sciences, etc. They've expanded STEM to include social sciences. Look at these occupations. Check it out, all right? This is going to be good stuff for a lot of people to remain here in the U.S. after they study and get good jobs, right? They can work for three years. While you're working for those three years, hey, you can file for a labor certification, get a green card, or the EB-2 that we just talked about, get a green card. Now it gives you sufficient time. Before you had one year of OPT, didn't give you enough time to try to apply for a green card. This is good stuff, folks. All right, they've also expanded O one eligibility. Usually the O1A is only for science, education, 
business athletics, right? The arts and motion picture, uh, uh, that's the OB, that's, we're not talking about that. So we're talking about the O1A, again, immigration, very restrictive, very difficult to get approved. And again, it was just subjective, right? I mean, they would go, uh, you don't meet, you know, two of, of three criteria and we're saying no to you. So again, Biden policy is to adjudicate these petitions broadly, okay? And also, they've expanded the O1A category to STEM. It was really difficult getting O1 petitions approved, let's say for influencers, I keep going back to that. Um, because the actual, the factors that you consider, they just don't fit the modern day what's, what's required. If you're a YouTube star at 100,000 subscribers, you get a very rare award, right? Immigration never considered that as meeting one of the uh, distinguished awards in the O-1 uh, visa category. Now it's specific, it's included, certain jobs, certain positions, um, the criteria in which you need to use. There's a catch-all in the O-1, you know, if evidence isn't readily available in one of the categories above, it's a catch-all category. You can qualify in that category. And I think now we're gonna see more O-1s approved. That's fantastic news. Finally, the J-1, it's an exchange program. It was very limited to certain occupations. Uh, one was like uh, au pairs, right? Domestic uh, workers. Um, it's an exchange program. It was valid only for 18 months. They've expanded that. It's now three years and also expanded it to STEM. So these are some huge changes, folks. Um, with the Biden administration, I'm very happy and pleased to see that it's going to be happening. And uh, hey, YouTube family, thanks so much for watching. Click below, like and subscribe. Go to my playlist. You can learn a lot of good stuff from the playlist. We have content organized, nice, neatly. You can find out I had a comment from a subscriber that said, look, we use your videos to get approved at the U.S. Consulate Abroad for my spouse. Thank you so much. And, you know, they were thanking me for that. And so, hey, it's good stuff. And actually, it's working. Now I have so much content that's there and it's organized and it's working, folks. Take care. See you next time.